Hi everyone. The Google Home Smart Speaker has become a popular device to control your home and to get information without the need of using your smartphone. Once you have one, you may feel the need that you may need more of them so you can ask it questions all throughout your home. This video is going to show you how to add additional Google Homes or Home Minis to your Google Assistant based smart home. So begin by plugging in your Google Home to the wall. You also have to make sure that you have the Google Home app installed on your smartphone. Just go to your App Store and search for Google Home. After the app is downloaded, open it up and you will see a screen similar to this one. Here you might see a list of devices already set up on your smart home. You can see that I have a bedroom TV, living room TV, and a Google Home I named Living Room Speaker. I have a Google Home Mini that I want to add to my bedroom, so I'll go to the Add button that's towards the top. Then I'll tap on Setup Device. Next, we want to tap on Set Up New Devices in your home. On the next screen, we need to choose which home we are adding the smart speaker to. Most likely, you will only see one home here, but if you have a second home, like a vacation home, you will also be able to select that. I only have one here that I just called home, so I'll select it. You will now see a screen that says looking for devices. It's very important that your Google Home is plugged in now so the app can find it. After it's done searching for devices, you'll see a list of nearby devices. I have multiple devices that I need to set up, but for this video, I will set up a Google Home Mini. You can also select a standard Google Home too. I'm selecting it now and hitting next. Now, the app will try to connect to Google Home so it can configure it for your network. When it's done connecting, you will be asked if you heard a sound like this. If you did, tap yes. This means that the app successfully connected to the Google Home. Here, you're asked if you want to share device statistics and crash reports. Tap yes if you want to do this, but there isn't any different functionality if you don't want to. Now I'm asked where in my home this device is located at. I'm putting this Google Home Mini in my bedroom, so I will select Bedroom and tap Next. In the next window, there will be a list of Wi-Fi networks which will also include your neighbor's network. Scroll to find your network, select it, and tap Next. Now, the app is configuring your Google Home to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Wait until it's done. And it's connected, so tap Next. Now you get some legal and privacy information. Tap Next after reading it. You will now be asked to activate Voice Match. Voice Match allows the Google Home to know who you are by recognizing your voice. This is helpful in households with multiple people so each person can get responses catered to them. For example, with getting calendar info, Every person will get their own calendar info instead of one shared calendar. This will also prevent others from talking to your Google Home and asking it for your personal information. I will choose I agree, but I already set this up on my phone before, so I get a message saying that my voice is already recognized. I'll just hit back. Now I'm asked if I want to turn on personal results. This will allow you to ask Google Home questions about your personalized calendar, contacts, photos, and more. Since I already set up the assistant to recognize my voice, I don't have to worry about others asking for my personal information, so I'll tap on it, I agree. You may get this message here that you didn't turn on voice match, but as you saw earlier, the app already said that voice match was already activated. This must be a bug in the Google Home app, because after I go to set up voice match after this, it tells me the same thing, that the assistant can already recognize my voice. I verify this by having someone else ask Google Home for my calendar, and Google told the person that they couldn't verify their voice. I couldn't verify your voice, so I can't share calendar information. You can either try again or verify your voice match settings in the Google Home app. So I'll just click on close. Now you are asked to enter your home address. If you already set up your home address on your Google account, it will already show up here. If not, type it out. Tap on confirm address after you're done. On the next screen, you are asked to add any music services. I have a premium Google and YouTube music account and also an account with Pandora. So those are set up. If you have a subscription to any of the others listed here, select them so you can link them to your Google Home. If you don't have any subscriptions, it is good to know that Google allows you to access YouTube Music for free from any Google Home. So add YouTube Music if you want to play music on your Google Home. The only caveat is with free YouTube Music is that you will get ads. If you don't feel like setting up a service now, you can do that later. Tap next to continue.
On this window, you will be asked which music service will be your default. I'm selecting Google Music. However, if you prefer Spotify or another service, select those. Now we're adding video services. I already have Netflix clicked for me, but you can add any of these video services that you want. You can always do this at a later time too. Here, you're asked if you want to get email updates from Google on new features and products relating to Google Home. If you do, tap sign up. If you don't, tap no thanks. I selected no thanks. And you're all done. In this screen, you will see completed steps and you're asked to configure optional features like adding a payment method or default video playback services. I skip this and hit continue and we'll set this up at a later time. You are now given an alert that your Google Home speaker is ready and you will also hear a voice alert on your Google Home. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Tap continue and you will see a list of commands you can ask your Google Home to test it out. When you're done, scroll down to the bottom and tap finish. And now you're completely set up and can enjoy your Google Home. So that's how you add an additional Google Home or Home Mini. Check out my other Google Home videos that show you how to add other devices and more so you can customize your home the way you want to. If you have any other smart home questions, please ask them in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.